Girl here with another vintage haul. Uh, this is another one of my eBay experiments where I'm buying lots of jewelry. And um, so what I have here is a mostly sterling silver lot that I bought for, I think the total price was with postage and everything was 168. Uh, that's a lot of money. So, you know, I was really taking a chance here. It looked pretty good. And for the most part, I was pleased. I had a couple of small disappointments, but uh, I think overall, I'm not going to lose money. I don't know if I'm going to make a whole lot, but we'll see what happens. Um, but the first thing I want to show you is a separate lot that I bought. And um, this is, I, I paid $11 for this, and this is a hand-painted porcelain ring with this I'm pretty sure it's so it's probably sterling. I haven't tested it, but it looks like it. The the seller didn't know what it was. And so $11 including postage. I think it may be Russian. Uh, Got to do some more research on it, but it, it looks very old. And uh, I just fell in love with it. I just thought it was beautiful. Okay, so the rest of this is um, the lot that I bought. And so I'm going to start with the uh, rings, and um, let's see, this one is marked, it's just marked 925, and it's a big dome ring. It's hollow, but it's still got some weight to it, and it's got one little dent on it, but that's yeah, pretty cool. And then this is another ring, I believe this one is Mexico, it's marked Mexico 925, and this is kind of a football shape, and this I believe is solid because it's pretty heavy. Kind of neat looking. <laughs> and then this one, I have no idea where, why anybody would want a Nike ring, but there it is. It's sterling silver and black enamel. Nike ring, and it's just marked uh, 95. Oh, look who's here. Are you here? Are you going to be a star today? Yes, there she is. And a rare trip downstairs letting her have a little walkabout so that she can uh, keep keep the mice away. Uh, and then the last ring is uh, this, just kind of a cool looking. And um, I don't think it's marked, but it, I'm pretty sure it's silver. I haven't tested any of this stuff yet. Um, but pretty cool looking. And it's a really big size, so that's usually a plus. And that's it for the rings. Uh, let's see, I'm going to show you some things that I'm, the things I was most disappointed in. There were um, three items that uh, weren't exactly what I was hoping. This is a really cool, gorgeous brooch, and unfortunately it is not. I did test this because when I saw it, I had a suspicion, and it's not sterling silver. Uh, it's old. It says handmade on it. Uh, may. No, those are not turquoise. Anyway, but it's kind of cool looking. So, um, and, and that was the only piece that I think was not as described. And I, I feel like everything else was so good um, that I'm not going to complain about that because I feel like it was probably an honest mistake. And then this one. It's a neat, this is a really old brooch, Mexican hat. It's marked uh, 900 silver, so it's not quite sterling, but almost. And um, the only problem is it's missing one of its dangles. But I think that I'm going to probably take, because one of these is also, it had, it had stones in it that someone took out and repurposed. So I think I'm just going to take these two off. And I'm going to put something else that matches as dangles on this. Uh, but it's pretty heavy, and it's um, it's nice work. So, and then this, come here. You want to come be on the video? Come here. Um, uh, this is a Joseph of Hollywood brooch. It is silver plated. It's not sterling silver. However, Joseph of Hollywood uh, jewelry sells for really good money. Now this is a little bit distressed. It is the plating is not in fabulous shape. Um, I'm I'm thinking that's not just tarnished that it's wear to the plating. But um, I haven't really 
tried to aggressively polish it yet to see if that will, might it might pol polish out and if it does this is going to be a really nice piece oh she's going to go back upstairs sorry I, I let her down here so she could be on the video but she didn't appear much um anyway it's it's a really beautiful piece um probably 1940s maybe and um yeah, whatever. Uh, if it's if I can get it really cleaned up, it might sell. I think for like over a hundred dollars, or at least seventy-five. Um, being a little bit distressed, I imagine it's going to be more like thirty-five. But we'll see. Um, okay, then let's see. Uh, some earrings. Two pair of earrings. These are some clip-on um, Tosco. Well, let's see. Tosco silver, sterling silver. Uh, these do have a maker's mark on them, so I might be able to identify the maker. But um, they're nice, pretty heavy, substantial. And then these are also Mexican silver with turquoise enamel. You can see. Come here, muffin. Those are they're kind of you know they look like turquoise, but they're really just enamel. But um, they're nice. They're also pretty substantial. Um, let's see, I got three charms. And uh, this one might even have a little diamond chip in it. Um, it's Mexican. Little, uh, little dude, I guess. And then these two are Hawaii. There's a pineapple. And a little tiny Oops, let's see. A little tiny hula dancer on those. Okay, um, some necklaces. This is just a little heart necklace. Nothing too special, but it's on a nice chain. It's the only one of the necklaces that came on a chain. I'm going to have to buy some more silver chains because I've got a bunch of pendants with no chains. Uh, got this nice um, cross. This is nicely worked. And this one is marked uh, 925 and it has a maker's mark on it, but I don't know if I'll be able to figure it out or not. It's just kind of some smudgy looking initials. Uh, but it's, it's a pretty piece. And then this is, come here, come here, baby. Don't you get into trouble over there. Um, this is um, Alexa's Angel, sterling silver, and that is a cultured pearl. Uh, it says, embrace the moment. I don't know anything about Alexa's Angels. It's obviously more modern than most of the stuff I deal with, so I don't know. And there's this pendant with a etched dragon on it. And then it's got some Chinese characters on this side. It's got a little bit of weight to it. Um, there's this nice wire wrap piece. It's like really thick. It's not just wire. It's really nicely done. Uh, I don't know what the pink stone is, but it's kind of a cool piece. Then uh, this, I am reasonably sure, is Native American. And I think those stones might be white turquoise. I'm going to have to do more, more uh, looking around. It is, it's just marked uh, sterling, no maker's mark. But it does look like a Navajo piece. And um, this is just a pendant with some black stripes on it. The bail is marked 925. The pendant is not marked. I have a sneaking suspicion it might not be silver. I haven't tested that one yet. I hope it is. It might be. It might be. Uh, and the last of the necklaces sorry, <laughs> is this honkin' uh, pendant medallion. It's really, really heavy. I think it was meant to be 
uh, engraved, but there's no engraving on it. Uh, it's a uh, Mex 95. Uh, it certainly is heavy. Okay, I have some more brooches. Uh, and this is a like a leopard with marcasites. And I think this is a more modern piece. It is marked 95 and it has mm, SU or something like that on it. I don't know. It's on his tail. You probably won't be able to see it, but I'll put it up there anyway, just in case. Uh, he's really pretty. And this is one of my favorite pieces in the lot. This is a lapis lazuli and sterling silver. Almost an Art Nouveau look to it. Really pretty. Um, this is a, definitely an older piece. Um, it's not marked. Oh God, what if it's not silver? No, it's got to be silver. Okay. And this is another one of my favorite pieces. Is one of these. Uh, yes, this is a lovely canateal butterfly. Uh, he is marked 900. And uh, he's got this nice trombone clasp. It's, a, it's an older piece. But I just thought he was lovely. I already have one of these in my shop that I haven't sold, but <laughs> it'll sell. And uh, this is a Mexican, uh, it's, all, it's a pendant and a brooch, and it's an abalone in the center and uh, uh, chip inlay that's probably lapis on the outside. It's not the nicest piece of work I've ever seen. Uh, it's got a little bit of spillover around the edges, but still kind of neat. Um, let's see. Okay, and I'll show you some bracelets and that's going to be the end of it. Um, this is a Mexican sterling silver bangle with some little dangles on it. Seems to be in good shape and it's pretty heavy. Um, let's see. Is it marked? Maybe it's not marked. Oh no, there it is. 925 Mexico uh, something on it. That's oh, just the maker's mark. Um, okay, so got that. Then I got this, uh, which is Bo Sterling, which is a really pretty little piece. Probably, I don't know. 1950s. Bo Sterling did a lot of stuff in the 1950s, but I'm not sure about that. And then the last piece is a cyan silver Mielo bracelet. And these, I've sold an awful lot of this kind of silver. <clears throat> and uh, it seems to do pretty well. So, yeah. So, that's it. I'm going to kind of keep a tally of how much I've made off these eBay lots to see if it's worth my time to do it that way. Uh, but anyway, so that's it. Thanks for watching. And uh, if you are interested in any of this stuff and you can't find it in my store, um, just send me an email. I have started putting my email uh, um, address. Yeah, email address. That's what it's called uh, in the description. So that's the easiest way to get hold of me because sometimes like if you go to Facebook or any of those other places, I may not see the message. So anyway, I do thank you for watching. And uh, my website is vintagedazzle.etsy.com. And that link is also below. And uh, I am on eBay some. Uh, some of this stuff may be too new to sell on Etsy, so I may be selling it on eBay. And I guess that's it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, and um, I do try to respond to or at least acknowledge all comments that are made, and I like comments, and that's it. I'm babbling. See you later. Bye.